Oh, hello, guys. Yep. That's about it. That's the sad news that you hear from me. But, I bet you should look on the bright side, guys. I think today, or I can't remember what day it was. But, so, um, <clears throat> so I'm easy. If you are watching this today, I think, I just can't remember. It has been a while. So, uh, um, remember, remember that you, uh, you used to be very interested in Scratch and Grounder, and I used to be very interested into it. Then I made some videos that you would get like it. Then, once you got to my channel, yes. Yeah, that's the hint. So today is our first year anniversary since we first met. Yeah. I still can't remember which day, but I still believe it's somewhere like the end of August. So yeah. What do you think of it? And I'm very impressed by today. And it has been a very long time since first met and I also like to thank you, thank you very much for uh, defending me like a big ally like uh, in wars like me England you America which is uh we're fighting against the Axis powers and the USSR is trying to defeat the Axis powers yeah it feels like that but anyway uh, um yeah and another thing is, guys, I'll tell you, the reason why I'm also another quitting. The other thing, the reason why I'm quitting is, um, so, um, guys, I have been doing a lot of things in my life. Like, you see, I, um, uh, had some very bad situations with, um, with my moving attempt to go to Texas. Um, um, yes, I'll explain a little more. Guys, <clears throat> I've been experiencing a lot of, lot of, um, moving attempts to go to Texas. And it is a very big hard to say. And the moving is kind of very rough because, um... Back in uh, Ocean Shores, when I was about to go to New Hampshire, it was a war. Yes. And in fact, guys, we signed, uh, me and my family signed, was thinking to sign a contract to this house. Uh, it was about October, but it took all the way to the, almost the end of January just to come up to New Hampshire. It was like a big war in Ocean Shores. It was so awful that I... I and that's one of the reasons why I almost quit once when when I got my 1700s interest and I started to make videos uh when 2021 came it was awful yeah I had a lot of dislikes and I had a lot of bad situations and differences from me and my uh, and my other bestie Nicole now if you're still on if you're watching this Nicole yeah I know you're not into my videos as much. But I totally understand you. And besides, what do you think I look like? A person that lies to you? No. I'm just very sensitive and I... Sometimes when I get angry, I can't think straight. Like, it just changes my mind and... And, and I still don't like the war between me and Nicole. It was awful. And where was I? Oh yeah. So, guys, do you remember this, uh, video that I used to, uh, Nicole and Macy were wondering why did I did something very bad? Like, um, like, there's one moment that this guy, this guy named Rudy, and I, I'm not interested in him as much, but he had changed his channel icon, and I did not understand who he is, and I thought he was kind of spammer, and he, that's why he said anime stuff, and I... On the other hand, did not like it because there are two things. Number one, I'm not interested in because this video is for like Nicole or Maisie. And the second thing is, I thought it didn't 
You know, I didn't recognize him at all. He was a different person when, when he had a different channel icon. Yeah. So, guys, you don't have to be uh, very mean to it. I just do not know. It's a big misunderstanding. Yeah. So, where was I? Another thing? Oh, yeah. And there's one channel that is named... I don't forgot what his name is, but... He's post one video that Maisie or any other of my besties in the see. He said, that's what I thought. Because I did apology video. And then I try to... I, I asked him, I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I did not know that. But then I ended up deleting it. Then I saw another post. He said, I came here for Rudy's post. Then I told him again. But no replies yet. So, uh, yeah, guys. You think that I look very, like, a maniac, huh? No, I'm just very sensitive, and I just, I forget everything. Again, guys, I get, I get confused like a dinosaur. Yeah. But, oh yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm ending my channel because of that. But, I mean, come on, guys, come on. Don't, don't be scared, don't be sad or don't be scared. It's not me going to be gone forever, like, be dead or... Or maybe like that moment from the USSR collapsed. Remember that pit? Remember that? Yeah. I don't want to say this. And why am I playing this anthem? But this is supposed to be a video of a, where the USSR fell. Like they took down the flag. So here it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Kind of, it's not like that, okay? I promise. I'm still gonna keep in touch with, with Mateo, Gracie, Nicola, Rose, and including Maisie. And Maisie, if you're still watching this again, I want to say that this is very, very heartwarming to say. But, um. Dramatic music, please. Come on. All right, there we go. So, and the reason why I very feel very odd, happy to have you, because five years of me being on YouTube and I never met one person can do such a great, great thing. And I never learned a lot of things from, from my past. But as soon as I got on YouTube more, I learned more and more from you, N Nicole, Rose, Mateo, and Gracie. Yeah, I learned from my five people that I do know. Even though I lost a lot, but I still keep in touch. And please, guys, I think it will be peace. Is that sad, kind of too, is that song, is that music kind of too sad for you? Oh, it's supposed to be Moonlight by Beethoven, so... Can you shut it off? I said, shut it off. I said, shut it off. There. That's better. <clears throat> so, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, another thing, the reason why I am, um, uh, not being making any videos as much is because I got very, 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 very got bullied, cyber bullied by a lot of people, and I got sp I got spam a lot. And I think Maisie, and I thank you Maisie, for defending me, it's just, it's still rough. Yeah, it still gets in your head. I got lost, cursed amazing YouTuber, and I lost Morales9, I lost, uh, I lost Moonicorn, I lost what else? I also lost Rudy, but he was nice, but he just did not watch my videos as much. I think he retired to me, but he, in a nice manner. But I just lost four of them. But if you are watching this, like Xavier Mills, um, I always get confused about, about your backup channel, Professor X, I think. But I know, I know you are great, but... Um, I just did not know you as much. And besides, I think I just call you a big fan, yeah. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Something to talk about these meanie, maniac, cyberbullied guys. 
So this guy in is a crushed amazing YouTuber. Remember him, everyone, or do you remember him, Macy? He always, he always a Democrat, and he's also telling you want to get a job. Is that correct? Yeah. And I was like, wow, that's very, very rude. I did not notice that for the whole time until you told me that, Macy. And another thing is, he just told me to exercise more and play Fortnite. And I was like. I'm not, first of all, I'm not interested in Fortnite. And second of all, I can't exercise as much because I'm not a fat guy, okay, guys? I'm very muscular. I'm born having British and Welsh blood. And uh, I am very strong and I'm, I have big legs and I'm even taller than my mom. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm being serious. Even for me to be a 13-year-old, to be taller than their family, but yeah. And, and guys, I just... Sometimes, but mm, I also have some good news. If you're wondering how I'm going to stay healthy, well, I am going to eat good stuff. It's just very hard. And another thing is, I do like to walk. And in fact, I'm hoping when I get to Texas, God, please... There will be a big land that I love, and I can have a treadmill there. Yeah, I'm thinking to have a treadmill because I love walking. Did you know that, guys? That's my fact of my daily life. I walk around, all around the house, sit back down, get up, and walk back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and sit back down and doing the same thing. Every day, going like a loop. So, yeah. And that's how I exercise, okay, guys? It's just, well, and I'm still young, and young people can lose weight fast, but, yeah, just want to let you know, guys. And Macy, I'd like to say thank you again for defending me from him. And it was another guy that is Moonicorn. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, obviously I see him everywhere, and I call him a flirt because he always flirts you, Macy. The reason why I'm doing this, Maisie, is this. I wanted to uh, uh, keep you safe and not get uh, get uh, cheated with your boyfriend, right? Like, when according with my my dad has been saying is... Uh, say, thinking that Moonicorn is obviously going to take Macy off because like she always like he always does uh, smiley faces and other ah 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 stuff. Yeah, and I in in Macy. Um, please do not hate me for this, but um, remember that I got very want to start a war right in front of you because. I thought my old my old thing was I thought that you like me uh you like Moonicorn more than me because you've been uh, chatting with a lot of things but I just discovered Mosey I'll never do that again for now on I've been ignoring Moonicorn and in fact I just discovered something like my brain has been telling me saying Tony, if you start to say something very mean right in front of Maisie, you're going to start you will start to declare a war right in front of her. And she's going to start having a war too. So yeah, I have a feeling I'm never going to do that again, okay? I promise. It's just very hard to think back. It's just, yeah. So where was I? Oh yeah, another guy that is um, very, um, well... We just lost him because he's no longer in my channel anymore. He was planning to take over it, and his name is Morales9. He is the one who wanted to take my channel, and he does not even care a single thing about my videos. I was just so pissed off. My apologies for that. I was just so pissed off that I just wanted to wanting people to be happy and interested in it. But I've been losing, losing, not getting not a lot of views. I was so very angry that I just felt like that by 1700s interest got worse. And another thing, Maisie, is you are being very helpful. It's just, well, it's very hard to think on the bright side, yeah. But I'm still at your case at always. And uh, it turns out that Nicole Barber just told me that 
Monocorn has been ignoring her comments. And I was like, Ugh, this guy's a sick. He's a sick autistic. I also discovered something, everyone, that autism is starting to become a little mean nowadays. Yeah, like like Chris, the amazing YouTuber, he had autism. And Morales9, he had autism too. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with them. Oh yeah, guys. And the other guy I do not like. Oh yeah, um, I can't still pronounce your name right, but Chong We We will i think i'm sorry that i can't pronounce your name but if you're watching this no i'm not hating you it's not your fault i'm just thinking about someone that you know i think is he still your ally or no but this guy named i said something i did not me never is a s a d i think i can't remember what his name is but I've been discovering that he has been racist to to Croatia and he says start, start Croatian hate and I was very defended to Mateo Stefancic and another thing is I I've been very good at defending him but however my aunt, however I've been starting to become weak because that HR channel guy I said was becoming very 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 one of the meanest people that I've seen in YouTube history. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, sorry about that. Uh, just one sec. Okay, my apologies for that. Okay, guys, I just um dropped the phone by accident. But anyway, there's one word that I wicked do not like. My dad discovered it first. Because he was on YouTube and he found something that he told me the news about this guy. I said, he used to call his name Ali. is A-L-L-Y. Then I also, and also another thing is, he has been, does not know anything about platonic friends. He just called me. Are you ready guys? This is PG-13. So are you ready? Three, two, one. What? Do you know what he called me and Mateo? He called us gay. N no. I am serious. I was so pissed off what I saw. I witnessed that. I felt so very worried about Mateo Stefancic. I was so worried that I felt like he's going for depression, but he was all right. I was like, oh, thank God. Besides, he may not know what those words are. And besides, he doesn't, he may not know the word gay is because it is an English word and he does not know a lot of English. So I just can't believe we've been called gay. But I thank you, Maisie, again for defending me uh, of one of my allies. Started to tell me, like, you better get out of here. This is this is very evil and very rude to call us. And I, and this is my theory, in my opinion, to Asad. He does not know about. Uh, uh, he does not know about Croatian history, and he's a racist to Croatia. And he is a person that he doesn't know about platonic friends. So guys, if you're wondering what is platonic friends, platonic friends is a different type of love. It's not like romantic or gay or any, any other, um, any other love things like mother love or daddy love or family love or sibling love it's very different it's like you felt very close to the friend that you always loved them as a friend that also goes to Mateo and Maisie your two are kind of very close to me yeah and I thank you again for defending me and another thing is I promise please I'm not treading on you I'm just is this too much? That's all. I've been doing a lot of wars in my life. I did a lot of 
hospital treatments and I had this done with a lot of school things and I have been dealing with motorcycles right in front of a highway right in front of my new house and we were thinking to get out and out of here quicker than the ocean shores move since I got up to New Hampshire and I'm thinking to go back to Texas and prove to myself that that is actually my new home and that's the originally place where I am. So yeah, guys. I'm sorry that this is actually happening to one of the biggest fans to me. But I figured out and discovered it was hard. And another thing is, I've been losing popularity. And... Um, I thank you again for my allies on my channel. And the fact may say... My mom and dad, wicked do like you. Yeah, they think you're awesome. And and also another thing is, um, Evan, if you're watching this, uh, we're not stealing your girlfriend, okay? It's just. And besides, if I was wanting to steal your girlfriend, I had to be eighteen or nineteen, and I would have been very, very different. But there's no way I'm not going to steal anyone's girlfriend. Not even Mateo's girlfriend, Rose Anderson. But I think... Mm -hmm. And also, um... <sighs> I do not want to say this much, but... I think... I discovered about, about your acting in your activity and in in your actions. It turns out that I think you are. I think you are. Are you ready? You're gonna absolutely happy cry, or maybe cry at this, or your heart will break, or your heart will froze. So, Maisie, you're probably one of the best allies I've ever had in my life, and. I never seen someone can do a, such a thing like that. And the best of all, your great supporting. I wasn't very used to talking to someone like this for the first time in five in for the first time in four years back in 2020. Another best thing is you helped me survive 2020. And you're helping me survive 2021. Of course, 2021 is starting to become the one of the second worst year I ever had as teenage years. Yeah. So yeah, if you're wondering one of the best allies, I think uh, Nicole, if you're watching this Nicole, I think you are one of the best allies uh, in, his in, in my history too. Because... You helped me. You helped me learn more about different cultures. You helped me learn more about about new people and me learning a new language. And another thing is, I totally understand your interests. And in fact, the movie Cars is one of my childhood movies, but I outgrown it. I'm not hurting you. I'm just letting you know. So another thing is, Nicole, I think, I think you're like a famous funny actress in Brazil. Yeah. And I also want to say uh, to Rose Anderson, if you're watching this, and I totally understand you. I totally understand that, that you have autism and a different interest. And I remember the first time, son. I remember the first time was um one video about Maisie doing one video about you and her. And this discovered I wanted to go on our channel. So I clicked on the link and boom, it was a live stream. And I was like, ah, this is interesting. And in fact, you were very interesting. And I told about Kai, and then when Caillou said, got up there and he said, no one likes you, Caillou. Yeah, he is such a weenie, bald, fat, bald, fatty, fat kid who eats pizza pie and eats ice cream every day. Yeah. <laughs> and also, 
Okay, now here's one of my other favorite allies of all time. So, Mateo Stefancic. Mateo has been making me discover a new country that is very unpopular, which is called Croatia. It's a very unpopular place that I discovered that I don't see the language as much. I was like, this is, this is insane. I just want Croatia to become popular, and I want to learn the language more. But, it's just, I was like, I don't care. And I was like, oh, curse you, people. I can't believe you just want to don't care for Croatia. But I do care it at always. And in fact, I've been learning more about words. And Croatian, but... Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And here comes my final, one of my favorite allies of all time. So, Gracie, if you're watching this, you may, you may need to discover about a new website called Gacha Club. I, I'm not a big fan of anime, but this type of anime is pretty good. And I was like, hmm, interesting. And the good thing is I made myself as an old-fashioned attire, and including Johan, Sebastian Bach, and uh, Mayor Humdinger, Macy, Nicole, Mateo, Rose, and Grace, and you too, Gracie, and um, Caillou, oh, and even, yeah, I think that's quite about it. I thought I have a lot. Anyway, boom. So anyway, um, that's about my al favorite allies of list. But I think the two close ones is Mateo and Maisie. I think you two are the big closest allies that I have in history. Yeah. So, um, I'm very, very glad that. And now, what did you think of it, Maisie? And I thank you very much again for what you have done to me and the first time we met. I just learned a lot of things, even though we have the different interests to, together. And another thing is, I, if I was if I was very young, and if I did discover you early, I would been go crazy. Yeah, I would have been go crazy if we had the same interests. Like, like back in my old days, back in Texas, back in 2015, I used to be very interested in England and Japan, and I used to be very, very interested into like um, a stick page, which is Henry Stickman, and um, where was I? Oh yeah. So another thing is. My journey to meet you and new people on YouTube was Super Mario Logan and and my family. So my family and Super Mario Logan made my journey to meet new all of you guys. And I thank you very much for giving more subscribers to me. And if Wicked helps me a lot, but I think this is God's timeline. And I've been discovering more about God's timeline. And I've been working very hard to get to Big Sandy. But it's a very long story to explain why the move to go to Texas. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's quite about, about it. And uh, again, Maisie, I do thank you again for what I have, what you have done to me and what you, and I have done to you. And I just wanted to protect us all. And in fact, Maisie... I don't know you're able to do this like some year or some month when I get to Texas and my family are living in Texas and finally got a job you can visit us whatever you we you want yeah but not right now we're in the middle of a move situation okay Maisie but anytime you want okay my dad has been saying that you if you uh, you can come as here anytime you want yeah I'm being serious. We promise we will. But first, I know you have a very different sensibility of autism that you have than me. And uh, including my cousin, which is she calls herself Spencer instead of Aaron. So I think I will be calling her Spency for short. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, including my cousin Spency, she does not like um, a styrofoam um, rubbing or even some bright light and even um, uh, some uh, plastic contain uh, plastic things opening. It wicked bothers her. And even something outside of a car. Oh, she can't even stand it. Ugh. Yeah, it's very different than me because I have a different larities of hearing. Like, I do not like the sounds of water splashing like a big pool of water. It wicked makes me uncomfortable. N not, not badly uncomfortable. It just makes me very nervous. Maybe I have bad memories of me and water. So, yeah, guys. Where was I going to say... I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, yeah. I got it back. Okay, guys. Never mind. Um, something to do about visiting the differences, maybe. So, I totally understand about what types of art, uh, what type of autism you have, and and I was wondering some sounds that you don't like. I don't know, but. I I'm just very curious because we me and my family have to know because yeah in order for us to keep you safe. And another thing, um, let's see. It may sound kind of very nervous to you. You may think I'm witchcraft, like you would just start punching me, like I'll be saying this. Hello, busy. Welcome to Dallas, Texas. I am to. <coughs> yeah. So I have a feeling you just want to punch me, even even try to think. We're witchcraft, but no worries. We are not evil guys or sicko. I'm just dealing a big challenge in my life. That's all. And sometimes I can't resist wars. Like, I have a lot of ancestors who went to war. Like my grandfather, which is Grandpa Bill. He, he had been into wars. Like the Korean War, the Vietnam War. And I can't remember what other wars he has been to. But it was very crazy for him. Like when when he had my mom. Which is Christy. Uh, he was absolutely a different person. Like he was very mean to her. But however. My mom also told me that. The, the reason why. He, uh, his uh, grandpa Bill become nice. A guy again is uh, she had a story that she started to stood up for him and he st and and grandpa bill started to laugh and and can't believe that like it just changed him forever like yeah it was pretty interesting and again my mom was a sicko and did not touch uh didn't talk anything bad okay so even and I even I'm half my grandpa because I do some things that he, he does similarities like sometimes it disappear all the time and that's why and he like it go into wars or even like a big bomb or a surprise noises oh my god I can't stand it like my grandpa uh, he would just get a like like it's not like slam door sounds like scan him like jump him and they startle and get him angry like like ah oh god uh I do feel the same thing to that so yeah guys I hate unexpected things it's my weakness so I've been a lot of been a lot of challenges in my life with me and my mom and dad we've been exploring new places and discovering that our dreams that need to be a different differences. So yeah. Again, Maisie, that's about the story. And I and I still appreciate you. The first person. So Maisie, you are first. Nicole second. Rose third. Mateo fourth. And Gracie fifth. I'll still never forget you, and I'm still going to chat with you. And I'm going to still keep in touch with you, Five. Come on. That's the bright side. Again, guys, it's not going to be like the USSR collapsing, right? So, yeah. This is a very big, kind of long movie that I'm making, but I just want to let you know that this is a big movie that I, I'm doing, which is a big story, right? So that's quite about it, guys. And I thank you, Maisie, again. And I will um, see you next time. And before I go, I think I'm going to say something. Before I end this video, I have to say, 
a big attachment with Maisie. So first we have a uh, Google Chat and uh, email, Gmail and Pinterest. Yeah. So yeah, Pinterest. Yeah. So what do you think of that? But anyway, guys, yeah, I think that's one of the reasons, I think that's the reasons why I decided to give up. But again, guys, I'm still going to keep in touch with all of you five. And I'm still going to chat. It's, it's just, again, guys, it's not me going to be the end of the world or something. Or me die or anything. I don't have leukemia or I don't have COVID. I don't have anything of that. And I'm not a sicko. I don't take drugs. Only only thing I only take is marijuana just for me to calm myself down. And again, guys, do not call the police or anything. I just do. I just wanted to protect myself. And again, guys, my family is always careful and always offensive. So yeah, guys. And um, I want to say put your finger off you like this video. So to take front. No, no, no. I like to say thank you again for watching this video, and Maisie, that's about about the first year anniversary since we first met. Bye, my best ally.